Okay, I have some complaints about Apple. Um, so I was just watching their uh, September event from 2018, and I was thinking to myself, uh, I'd be able to focus on uh, their technological advances that they're making uh, if I wasn't so focused on how much these guys are douchebags for backing a company that completely gets off on their customers in like 10 different ways. So I'm thinking they're doing so many ways so people like me could leave something out uh, in their videos. So I'm just going to go over every way that I'm uh, familiar with and I'll probably make another one when I come across something else. So first thing is like uh, this stuff is so blatant, blatantly subtle. Um, and so yeah, uh, the fact that they're doing so many things is like I feel like in my opinion they're like tempting the government to come like tell them to discontinue getting off on customers so they're using their like technological innovations which is a necessity as uh, leverage is like so we have to let them get off on us in order to keep up the pace that we're at in uh, technological evolution and uh, so before I go over all the things there's this guy uh, Rossman uh, and he has his, uh, he has a YouTube channel dedicated to just like pointing out he's a laptop, he has a laptop repair shop, a computer repair shop or something. And he just calls out Apple for everything that they're doing. And these are all the things I'm familiar with. Uh, so what do you guys think about your MacBook breaking down, uh, the day after your warranty expires? And, uh, uh, what do you guys think about, uh, your your uh, phone running out of batteries after you plug it in 10 times in a row during the Apple loading screen. I feel like they could fix that um, with not programming your computer to break, however they're doing it um, when your warranty ends. And they could fix the other one by uh, making your phone start up a little bit farther down the battery line. And uh, I'm, I just got two new Apple iPhone cables and there's like number six and seven for me. I've had like four of them break and I haven't, uh, yeah, in like a year. So I've had like four break in a year and the two, I just got two more and then, uh, I just got like, yeah, two more and, uh, I have two, two or three broken cables sitting here and, um, they're writing programs on me. Uh, I think that was just relating to breaking your computer and stuff like that and some other stuff like I click on things multiple times and I think it's them messing with me after I like tweet them or something about um, them being douchebags and um, basically uh, just uh, uh, their support their customer service support is terrible um, and like um, it's like Norton antivirus support, if you've ever called Norton for support. Uh, they don't like accommodate you, their focus isn't on customer service. Um, like, I've had a few MacBooks, and all these posts are like, how, how long does a MacBook last? And it's just like five to seven years, five to seven years. I've had like five MacBooks, or five or six MacBooks, or, so, or like five, five MacBooks. And uh, they're just breaking. Uh, a bunch and uh, one of them broke like right when the warranty ended uh, another one was scanned like TSA has this TSA in San Antonio has this like thing he was like oh your laptop wasn't out of the bag so I have to scan it and they have this like magnetizer scanner thing that they were told when they applied to the job I'm 100% sure that these guys were told don't scan this over this part of the laptop because it'll break the laptop and then what does he do? TSA scans over the laptop, like getting off on me, the one in San Antonio. Um, so that one broke quick. And, oh, another thing I didn't write down about uh, Apple um, is I feel like it'd be easy to just like, I'm trying to like go back to a previous phone call. Like when you go to the bottom and you go to recents, I'm trying to click a uh, phone conversation and then save it. Like they should be able to have the last five conversations automatically saved 
so you can copy it and save it to like a voice memo or something on your iPhone. And so you can relay like terrible customer service to the company so they can do something about it. And that's a big thing. That's something that should be issued. Not only should they have you, not only should Apple um, let you go back to your previous conversations and save them and uh, to your computer or something, but Google should have some analytics. Like I bought Constant Contact because I'm uh, building a website and uh, I don't need Constant Contact, but I got the first month or I won't need it for the next year while I make my website, but I'll need it later for like analytics. You can see like who the number of people that viewed actually clicked on your email from a mailing list. You can view analytics on that. And I'm sure Google has that on the Gmail. And um, just like saving conversations and using that as proof, like dudes are getting off on me, not accommodating me, do something about it. These guys are, are Google, Gmail should have like, how long after this person clicked the email did he mark you as spam? So they could get rid of all these terrible uh, re customer service representatives who aren't accommodating people and you're just like sending emails to a company you need your service from and they're, they had already marked you as spam because the person at the front desk decides to get off on you. And um, uh, yeah, there's this video. There's so many things that Apple's doing. There's this video of this guy in France uh, just destroying an Apple store. And I think I just wanted to point that out. That, that guy, that guy's good. And uh, then my personal, uh, my personal uh, uh, situation with Apple is uh, I haven't seen very many people call this out, so I'm trying to join the club and get other people to point it out. Uh, so my laptop stopped charging at, uh, like the charger didn't work or the thing in the, uh, computer didn't work. And I Googled it. It said you could fix it for $70 and, uh, I took it to a Mac store. So I'm going to go over about the employees of a Mac store later. Um, yeah, uh, I take it to the Mac store, say I need to fix a battery for $70 cause it works just fine. It just won't charge. And, um, the guys take it to the back room, do something to it, and uh, then you uh, only come back and they say, oh, it has liquid damage. So we can only offer you a new motherboard or whatever it's called. That's our only option to fix it. And uh, this guy Rossman just made a new video, like they just upgraded their motherboard to where uh, they don't have spare parts that could fix the new MacBooks. So they're doing that on purpose and that's going on at Knowledge. Like, uh, and I was like, I'm not paying seven seven hundred dollars. You guys can fix my uh, MacBook for seventy, and it'll work just fine. I'm telling you that one hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent sure. If you replace the battery, my MacBook will work, and I could get all my files and send it to another computer before this one breaks completely. And that's all I want. And I don't want to spend seven hundred dollars on this MacBook and then get another one in a few years. And they'd probably make more money if they didn't have this scam because um, I'm not going to buy a MacBook again. Um, so, yeah, liquid damage. And then this person at, at the Apple store is has been through this situation himself and he's sitting there just like blank faced, like uh, just getting off on you. I don't know how we succumb to that. I don't know how like... You have all these Mac stores and all these people backing a company that is getting off on us. And uh, we're just supposed to sit here and be like, oh, if we call it out, then they're going to discontinue making all these evolutionary advancements. Like they're going to uh, they're, they're going to leave something out of the next one on purpose that will make life more convenient and improve potential and improve productivity. And. I doubt they're going to do that. Um, so, uh, yeah, those are my Apple complaints, my part one.